Hello, I'm assuming you're watching this video because you've been diagnosed with IBS, have tried all that conventional medicine has to offer, and are wondering how functional medicine differs from conventional medicine when it comes to IBS. If so, you've come to the right place. I'm Dr. Paul Diggleman, functional medicine practitioner for over 13 years, specializing in gut health and gut-related disorders. I've had tremendous success with IBS, and I will share why I've had that success in this video. Number one, conventional medicine focuses on symptoms. In functional medicine, we focus on the root cause. IBS, or irritable bowel syndrome, is a functional bowel disorder, meaning your gut is functioning abnormally. Now, if you have classic IBS symptoms like abdominal pain, abdominal cramping, gas, bloating, constipation, and or diarrhea, your medical doctor runs all kinds of tests, CT scans, endoscopies, colonoscopies, ultrasounds, stool tests, breath tests, blood tests, and sometimes more. Now, if all these test results come back normal, your doctor is stumped. They can't diagnose you with anything else, so they put you under the diagnosis of IBS, which means every test is normal, but we know you have abnormal GI symptoms and gut functioning, so we call it IBS. Herein lies the problem. They stop asking, why isn't your gut functioning properly? Why isn't your body able to function like it's supposed to? With functional medicine, we're looking for the root cause of why you have IBS. Why are you getting constipated? Why do you have diarrhea? Why do you have abdominal pain or abdominal cramping? Why are you having potential spasms in your intestines? By investigating the why, we get closer and closer to the root cause. Number two, functional medicine is very successful in what conventional medicine deems an idiopathic condition. According to conventional medicine, IBS is idiopathic, which simply means we don't know why. When we don't understand why, conventional medicine stops looking further. All it offers is medications to mask your continuing symptoms. But here in my clinic, with functional medicine testing, we start peeling the layers to try to get to the root cause as to why your body is not functioning optimally. What makes us challenging at times is that the root cause or root causes can be coming from a combination of many different factors. In functional medicine, we keep digging until we figure out all these factors to give you the best chance at resolving them. Our testing is different, our approach is different, which is why we have better results in the majority of cases. Number three, test don't guess is a model we follow and is why we've had so much success with IBS in our clinic. Everyone is different, so we need to address each case of IBS individually. I'm sure you can relate. A friend tells you that a certain diet helped their IBS. You see an ad on Facebook of a supplement that people are saying helped their IBS. You go to the health food store and pick up a probiotic that you think might be helpful. While these ideas might work for some, it's a guessing game and the odds of it working are very slim. In functional medicine, we investigate several possibilities that could contribute to a functional bowel disorder. Symptoms of abdominal pain, gas, bloating, constipation, and or diarrhea can be caused or contributed by several factors such as food allergies and food sensitivities, imbalance of the microbiome from overgrowth of bacteria, yeast, fungus, parasites, low beneficial flora, toxicity, chronic stress over time, etc. We want to identify these factors through testing and remove anything that's negatively affecting your body. Now, what is the body missing that can positively impact healing, recovery, and repair? These would be things like nutritional deficiencies, good beneficial bacteria, hormonal deficiencies, etc. What makes this challenging at times is that it can be a combination of many different factors, which is why it's so important to test and not guess. By doing a thorough history, examination, and testing, our goal is to find out what your body needs to give you the best chance of reaching your health goals and being the strongest version of yourself. Number four, functional medicine can tackle multiple conditions or symptoms simultaneously. As a functional medicine practitioner, I work on the body as a whole, which helps address multiple systems all at once. When you have GI issues such as IBS, it's very common to also be dealing with related conditions like SIBO or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, severe dysbiosis or imbalance of the microbiome, headaches, skin issues, brain fog, autoimmunity, mental health issues such as anxiety, etc. Since the focus is on the whole body and because there's so much overlap in symptoms, looking at these conditions together makes sense. On the other hand, traditional medicine is highly compartmentalized. 
What this means is you go see the gastroenterologist if you have GI or gut issues, you go see the dermatologist if you have skin issues, you go see the neurologist if you have headaches, and so on, and no one talks to each other. Everything is separate, dismissive of how your body is connected and working together. This is not how the body was designed. We have to look at the body as a whole. I've done this successfully many times in my clinic, and it's the main reason why we're commonly seeing long-term success with conditions like IBS. Number five, we shift your focus beyond your gut into your entire body. I see so many patients that are so focused on symptoms, but do so little to truly strengthen and promote healing within the body. If you've been dealing with IBS, I wanna ask you one question. What have you done to strengthen your body, your gut, and your gut-brain axis, which is the communication between the gut and the brain. Do you believe our body can heal itself? Do you believe our bodies work hard to promote balance? If so, you have come to the right place. You should have a lot of hope that you too can get better with IBS. Your body is amazing at being able to heal, recover, and repair when the environment is right. Number six, how quickly will you see results? It all depends on the individual person how significant your symptoms are, how long you've had these symptoms, how consistent you are in the protocols, etc. On average, I expect improvement in symptoms by the 12 week or three month mark. I don't expect people to be where they wanna be yet, but I do wanna see everything moving in the right direction. I would estimate that around 90% of our IBS patients are significantly improved by the six month mark and a lot are symptom free. Don't lose hope. People from many different stages of IBS have found success in functional medicine. In one case, we had a 60-year-old female with significant IBS over 30 years and had a lot of urgency to use the bathroom at unexpected and random times. Car rides, golfing, and eating out were all really stressful just due to not knowing when she'd have to use the bathroom or have excessive gas. After three months of care, she no longer had any urgency and the gas had been reduced by 90%. This was someone who had IBS for over 30 years and got that much better within three months. We have seen this type of scenario many times over the years. So no matter what you're facing from IBS, always have hope. Number seven, once you hit goals with your symptoms or test results, the goal is to then maintain that result. My goal is for you to feel great, live a normal life, and not have to worry about constantly managing the symptoms of IBS. I wanna help you get better, but the most important thing is to keep you better long-term and not have your symptoms keep coming back. My goal is to educate you, teach you what things are short-term, what things are long-term, and find a healthy diet and lifestyle that work to keep you healthy. In closing, I've been working with gut-related conditions and symptoms for years, and IBS is one of the most common conditions that we see in our office. We have had a lot of success with patients with IBS, and I want you to know that there's a lot of hope that you can join the club and feel better too. IBS should not be considered a life sentence. We are simply trying to put your body in the right environment to give you the best chance of healing the gut and keeping the IBS symptoms away. My goal is for you to feel great, live a normal life, and not constantly have to worry about managing your symptoms of IBS. Don't lose hope. Your body is amazing at being able to heal, recover, and repair when the environment is right. Together, we will shift the focus back to you and your body, identify what's missing, and give your body the support that it needs. It all starts with a free 15 minute phone call. I welcome the chance to learn about how we can help you too. We're in this together and I need your participation to make this successful. Here's to wishing you a happy, healthy gut. I'm Dr. Paul Diggleman at Restorative Health Solutions, here to help you take back control of your health.